But uh, each and every one, uh, each and every of those dances uh, has its own meaning. And uh, I'll start, uh, uh, you know, telling you. And then, and I hope uh, at the end of uh, this short trip, and then you guys uh, will expect some questions from you. Right. You know, concerning the dance and even more of it, you know, uh, the tribe or the culture by itself. Yeah, sure. Right? So, the first song, uh, that's a combination of lap dance. We are between uh, the so girls and the warriors. So firstly, uh, to become a warrior, first you should be a boy to your family. Then after now you reach uh, 15, the earliest is 15. Then you undergo circumcision. Then from there, uh, before you undergo circumcision, there are several, uh, some steps that uh, you also, uh, you know, go through. And then just to prove uh, to your family that uh, you will be able to sustain that pain uh, of circumcision. Then uh, the first one, uh, there is what you call a uh, uh, tattoo, and then on, on our stomach, some of us, uh, we have uh, those cuts, then small cuts, it's like a tattoo. I'll show you tomorrow, they're just here on my stomach here. And then when you are about uh, 14, then when you are about 12 years, uh, there is what you call plugging of tooth. They just plug it, that's using a, a knife, and they plug your tooth. Yeah. Plug. There's no Siberian or sort of thing that uh, Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, the importance of that is, uh, firstly, uh, you should show to your family, to your dad, that, uh, let's say your family, that you will be able to sustain that pain. Then if you fail to uh, play, cry, then there's no reward for you. They won't reward you for that. But if you didn't cry, uh, they'll give you your blood. Right? For that, yeah. And then uh, they use that also, this uh, sort of uh, mark, I mean, uh, uh, for identification. So whenever you see someone has a gap here, then it means that uh, you obviously know that uh, he's a ma from the ma family. Ma is Maasai, Samuru, James, Ondorobo, and then the last, uh, the smallest tribe here that uh, we have in Kenya, uh, it's uh, they're known as uh, Olomolo. They live far away far. Who have ever seen, uh, knew that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we all speak ma, but uh, what differs is the dialect of language. And then also the mode of decoration, how we decorate ourselves, right? So that's what differs. So the third thing also, or the important of uh, plugging tool, uh, along the hole, uh, there is that uh, this is that uh, people tend to lock their jaws. So they did that so that uh, when you got that, when your jaws are locked, then they put any liquid like soup or milk through or even blood. So, so they put through that gap, right? So after now you reach uh, 15 years, uh, you undergo circumcision. And then from there, you know, you just stand still, sit down, then you don't think of your eyes, right? <laughs> and then you just wash it, how they are doing to you. And then from there, uh, if you didn't cry, then your dad, uh, your uncle, your friends also, your cousins, you know, they'll reward you for that. They'll give you a cow, each and every one of them. Then after another circumcision, there are big ceremony that are, uh, um, after one month, then there is a big ceremony. Uh, people, you know, those guys will kill, you know, dogs, cows, and everyone will celebrate for that. Then you stay now being a warrior until you reach 28 years of age. So within this time, like uh, 13 years when you are still a warrior, uh, you are just, uh, uh, you act like uh, the army of the tribe. So you protect the tribe against uh, wild animals, you know, raiders like other tribes that comes to raid our cows. So that's your duty as a warrior. So during that time, uh, you are allowed to have uh, girlfriends and then also big girls, but uh, you are not allowed to pregnant them. So <laughs> in case of pregnancy, pardon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there is, there is, yeah, I was in the event, so in the event, so 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 the
So you're not supposed to 